in this video we will discuss about the cp that is called as capability of a process and cpk which is also called as process capability index first we will discuss and calculate the cp value the cp value in six sigma indicates that the capability of a process to produce output within specified limits here we have taken an example we have number of days as 10 and we have taken the width of a product here we have taken these values and here are those values the upper specification limit and lower specification limit that are also called as usl and lsl are given here when we calculate the cp value and if the cp value is greater than one it means that the spread is narrow and the process has capability to produce output within the specification limits in second case if we have the cp value equal to one this means that the process is capable of meeting specification but just barely and the reason is that the process spread is equal to the specification range in the third case if the cp value is less than one this means that the spread is wider than the specification range meaning that the process is not capable of consistently producing within specifications so this means that we must have the cp value greater than one now let's calculate the cp value the formula of the cp value is given here usl minus lsl divided by six multiplied by standard deviation here usl means upper specification limit lsl means lower specification limit sigma is the standard deviation of the process the upper and lower specification limits are given here we have to find mean standard deviation and cp value for mean we have to put equal average you can press the tab or double click on average to select this and we need to select this whole data now this data then press enter button and here we have the average and now it's time to calculate the standard deviation for that we need to put equal stdev and then this first option double click on this select this whole data press the enter button now and this is the standard deviation and now it's time to calculate the cp value the formula of the cp value is given we need to put equal bracket usl value minus lsl close the bracket divided by open parenthesis standard deviation value multiply by six press the enter button and here we have the cp value and this value is greater than one which means that the process has the capability to produce the output within the specifications limit and now if we reduce this upper specification limit we put more limitations on the process then this cp value will get reduced here you can see if we put more limitations on it reduce this value reduce the tolerances uh, then cp value will definitely get decreased and here we have two solutions definitely we need to improve our process or if we have to increase this usl value then we have the cp value greater than one the limitation of the cp is that it does not provide any information about the actual location of process mean relative to specification limits to overcome this limitation we use cpk value cpk measures how close the process mean is to the nearest specification limit now let's calculate the cpk value to calculate the cpk value we need cp usl cp usl and the formula is given we need to put equal and open parenthesis we need to select usl minus mean close the bracket divided by three multiply by standard deviation press enter button and here we have cp usl similarly we have to calculate uh, cp lsl the formula for cp lsl is also provided we need to put equal open bracket mean minus lsl close bracket divided by three multiply by standard deviation so this is the formula for cp uh, lsl we need to just press the enter button now and that's how we calculate the cp usl and cp lsl so that's how we calculate the cp and cpk value if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching